How much of your time are you spending farming? Did you know that it takes five wood to smelt three metal? That means a thousand wood for every 600 metal frags you need. Doesn't that sound like a lot? That's because it is. You're wasting your time and resources. What's the answer? Well, it's a large furnace. A large furnace is something that most players don't ever bother with. Believing that it's something best left for large groups and clans, most players miss out on the incredibly efficient cook rates of a large furnace. So why is that? Why do players refuse to use something obviously amazing? Well, there's a couple reasons. A large furnace has to be placed on the ground, which means that placing one inside your base is not really an option. And placing it outside means that you're going to have grubs coming from all directions, chasing after that smoke signal. Even with high external walls, many determined players will find a way inside your compound. For this reason, we have furnace bases. Easily identifiable and almost never worth raiding, you've probably encountered one every now and then. However, we're going to be doing things just a little bit differently, taking your standard furnace base, throwing in a refinery, a ton of boxes, a workbench, a repair bench, and anything else you might need from beginning to end game. Starting off, we're going to want to make sure we build relatively low to the ground, as it is going to make getting around a lot easier. The furnace base is going to start with just two triangle foundations. You can, however, go for a three triangle foundation option, but this just makes the base much smoother to build, and it does just sacrifice a little bit of space early on. However, the late game advantage of getting this base done and not having to build multiple bases can be absolutely massive, especially if you're in a rush and you're trying to get to endgame. Once you've got your little starter going, you can actually throw a workbench right here, keeping at least a tier 1 or tier 2 workbench, and that should be enough to get you started farming. From there, simply make sure you eat all your vegetables and get farming to build. Once you have the materials, go ahead and slap down your front door, and any door inside this base, which this being the inside, has to be a double door that's just going to make movement significantly easier throughout this base. Once you have that slapped down, we're going to slap four temporary squares and surround that entirely with triangles. All of the triangles will get walls surrounding them, and then we can close that in and upgrade it. You're going to want to make sure that you don't upgrade the squares in the middle because we are going to actually be removing those shortly. At this point, if you do not have the materials in order to fully build your furnace base or you just don't have the furnace yet, you're not going to want to close it in. So I would go ahead and either leave the open skylight concept or we can seal it in with wood. The reason we would upgrade to wood is because with a salvage sword, it would actually not take very long at all to destroy this, at least from the soft side inside. From the outside, it would take eight swords per piece of wood to get through, meaning someone would have to use eight swords to get inside. And if you have doors, it really wouldn't matter while giving you a lot extra security. So if you don't mind spending a little bit of time with a sword, it is very advisable to use wood as a temporary roof. That would mean that you can go ahead and get your storage room set up to give you an area to operate out of. But this is especially useful again if you don't have VPs or don't feel like buying a furnace or refinery from Bandit Camp or Outpost. With this back corner, I do recommend having two walls, and I also recommend for this entire build that you have all of your walls facing inwards. This means if anybody comes in through your wall side pieces, by the time they get into the furnace, they would still have to blow into the remaining rooms instead of being able to soft side. Ultimately, it just makes the cost to full raid the base significantly higher. For these back rooms, you have an option of either using them each as a workbench or research area, or using them as shelving. When you make them shelving, it means that you're going to have extra storage, but it is going to make things a little bit more complicated for upgrading later on. So I don't recommend putting boxes on your top storage areas yet, but there is workarounds if you've done that if, and you don't want to pick them up. Once you're ready with your large furnace and your refinery, you're going to want to place the refinery first. To do that, you're going to want to make sure the spout is facing out, either towards you or to the left. And go ahead and ghost partially through this back wall. Pull forward a little bit until it goes blue. And with just a little bit of wiggle room, take it all the way to the right. Once it stops moving, you can go ahead and place it, otherwise it will do that. And then simply jump on top of your refinery, and from here we can place our large furnace. 
Sometimes it doesn't want to go very nicely, so you just gotta wiggle around a little bit and it'll eventually find its sweet spot. Pulling forward as close as you can is going to give you the most amount of space, but ultimately it is going to be a tight fit, and this is why we went for double doors. One of the bonuses of the furnace being low to the ground and the rest of the base being low to the ground is you'll be able to get to these shelving areas significantly easier. To seal in the base, we're going to use roof triangles, but you'll notice they don't like to place out here very nicely. You can, however, place them like so. So if you do have your boxes down below, it is still possible to do this. But I personally prefer to place mine from underneath and they'll actually place right through the floor. This can be incredibly useful if you don't want to get killed while outside, but ultimately it's, it's really up to you. But again, much more convenient from the inside. Once you have your final twig pieces placed, you'll notice that it closes in very nicely. We then have to start upgrading them, but you'll fall through every time because as soon as you upgrade it, it will disconnect it. So working your way back up top, and then we're sealed in. At this point, we're safe to run the furnace without anybody interfering, and all that's really left is to get our box placement down. For up here, I do recommend placing a large box. And the second large box is always slightly more difficult to place. But uh, once you get it down, you'll be happy it's there. Unfortunately, with this base design, you're only able to do the temporary shelf once. Uh, it is very unfortunate, but it is going to help with the box placement for a couple spots. I like to personally use all four as storage rooms or all three, sorry, as storage rooms. And then I use the room in front of my TC as a furnace room for the small furnaces, as I still find that's the best way to cook your sulfur. You're still gonna need charcoal and fitting three furnaces in here is a fairly easy go. If at any point you find yourself struggling to get around, it can be incredibly useful to just slap down an extra furnace or deployable, as they are a lot easier to jump around on. You may have to do a little bit of jumping around to get those final box placements, but if you don't mind things being a little bit off, it can give you a lot of extra storage space in addition to the more secure storage in the rooms. This space can work well into late game. And even once you've farmed up enough metal and you've moved into your main base, this base still operates as an incredibly safe refinery, furnace, and quick drop spot. I do recommend having your base a little bit separated from each other so that people don't associate one with the other. This is gonna help make yourself a little bit less of a target and ultimately that's part of the point of this base. Because it is from the outside, just a furnace base, most people will leave it alone. If you guys like this video, don't forget to smash that like button and comment down below. Both of these things help the video perform better and it's a great way for you to help support the channel at no cost to yourself. Until next time, have a good wipe. Peace out.